Why? When you go to see your mate's band, is the sound always so bad? When I was about 13, my favourite instrument was the saxophone, and with a lot of coercion from my dad, played it in all manner of cripplingly embarrassing places like shopping malls and seaside promenades. Then I got asked by some mates at school if I'd like to join their band. I was well excited, and every weekend they'd all come round to my house where we'd practice long and loud in the loft. Eventually we got good enough to play some gigs. But unlike the sax bands, when everyone just played their instrument how it sounded right to them, and that seemed to work for the audience too, we all came away complaining that we couldn't hear what we were doing, and our mates who'd come to listen didn't seem overly impressed either. Why was that? What were we doing different? And did that dirty big pile of loudspeakers we borrowed have anything to do with it? Well, I was determined to solve the problem, and realised that that meant understanding the science of what was going on. I went to university and studied engineering because I was good at science and problem solving, but I continued to play in loads of bands while I was there. Then one day, in a lecture, the crazy Russian guy who taught us maths started going on about how the response of a loudspeaker can change depending on what note you play through it. And it turns out an enclosed space like a room can change the sound too. This was just the sort of understanding I needed to fix my problem, and it had come from engineering maths. Today I've found a subject area that perfectly matches my interest in science and live music. It's called acoustics, and I continue to study its details. I still play in bands, and I still set up sound systems, sometimes for money, but I get more pleasure when I can help out a friend by organising the sound at their party or wedding. For me it's all about making the sound the best it can be, so everyone has a better time. I wonder if my efforts leave people thinking about how important sound is to all of us. And for my future, well now that science has helped me understand sound, I find I can spend more of my time on my original passion, playing music. Music